Hey everyone, it's very vital that you are not vulnerable with the wrong person or with the wrong type of people. There is this thing, and I know because I had family members telling me like you should be open more or vulnerable more. No, you should not. No, you should not. No, you should not. You don't just drop your walls or drop your your um your your safety defense mechanism when meeting someone new. No. You have to test this person. You have to test them whether they be for you or not. Whether they have your best interest at heart or not. You don't just walk into meeting someone new and you're vulnerable. No. You set yourself up like that. You set yourself up to be love bomb by narcissistic people. You set yourself up to be used by toxic people. You set yourself up for failure when you are vulnerable with people who are not worthy enough to be vulnerable with. You set yourself up when you are vulnerable with everyone. No, people have to be qualified in order for you to be vulnerable and open with them. And I've had people in my life tell me, oh, you you know, you should be, you, you're not vulnerable. I don't, I'm not gonna be vulnerable with people who are toxic and who have shown me their toxicity. That's stupid, that's dumb. So I came on here to tell you all, do not fall for anybody's trickery or desire for you to be vulnerable. Um, when there is people out here who want ill will for you and you don't know the, fa the, fa the faces of the people, you don't know what they look like. You only know what you see, but you don't know the person's heart. You don't know the person's intentions when you're first meeting new people. So it would be silly and naive to be vulnerable when need, meeting new people. No, have your guard up. Have your have your 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 look onto you. Have your your um your your wall there. It doesn't have to be a thick wall, but there needs to be some type of boundary, some type of barrier there, some type of covering there that everybody can't just walk into your life and penetrate and, and throw anything at you without you vetting them, without you checking their spirit, without, without you making sure that they're good for you, a good fit for you. Okay, because there's users out there and there are people who, out there who will abuse you, use you, tear you down, belittle you, whose sole purpose is to control people, whose sole purpose is to um, bring heartache and, and headaches into people's lives. There's people out there walking around like that. So do not be naive enough to just be vulnerable with anybody. No, people need to earn your vulnerability, period, period. People need to earn you being vulnerable. Now, if these are people that have been in your life and they're, they haven't done you wrong, they haven't done you dirty. You know, they didn't, haven't talked bad about you behind your back. They haven't, um, you know, expressed any jealousy or envy towards you. They haven't done none of that. They've been pretty solid in your life. Then, of course, you be vulnerable with those people. Those are people that you need to open up to and um, trust and love and, and, and allow them to trust you and love you as well. But don't be silly out here being vulnerable with people that you just met. Being vulnerable with people who have not proven themselves to be worthy, to be vulnerable with. And not saying they have to jump through hoops. Just saying that you need a period of time to vet these people. To look at people's records. To look at their, their past behaviors and their current behaviors. You need time for that. So that, your vulnerability is not coming um easily it's not coming at oh as soon as i meet you sure i'm vulnerable with you no absolutely not absolutely not all right so i just wanted to get that out here be on point be on guard guard your heart guard your mind guard your mouth guard your energy protect yourself protect your energy nobody in this world has the best interest for you like you there's nobody on the the face of this planet who's going to have your best interest at heart like you have your best interest at heart so knowing that you must protect yourself you must always protect yourself and i'm not talking about just physically mainly mentally mainly emotionally 
spiritually protect yourself. Okay? All right. I love you all. Until next time, y'all have a blessed day.